If you've seen any of my videos, you know the one thing that I can't stand is flooring moldings. Sometimes you just have no choice and you have to use them though. They're big, they're bulky. My customers hate them, I hate them. Today I'm going to show you what I use on my jobs. They are a fraction of the size and a fraction of the price. Today on Jones Knows, I'm giving away another one of my secrets. This one is all about the moldings. You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Okay, so side by side, we have a traditional two and a half inch wide, big, giant, bulky molding next to my half an inch wide aluminum molding, fraction of the size, and it looks good. They come in aluminum color, but they can be sprayed black, brown, blue, you name it, any color. They're super easy to change the color of. Uh, this one here is on a job we did this week. Uh, we made them black. Right, they're super easy to work with. They'll cover up to a half inch wide expansion. Uh, you just leave a small space in the floor, up to a half inch or whatever your manufacturer recommends, and then you put the molding in. We're going to show you how we install them in just a second here, but just so you know, these moldings are purchased at any Home Depot, Lowe's, or hardware store. There's a section in the store that most people don't know exists. It's in the hardware aisle where they sell aluminum trim pieces. So as you see, my son just puts a little bit of construction adhesive along the edge of the molding. You don't need to put it in the uh, floor itself because you want the floor to expand. Just along the edge, you'll place the molding onto the floor. You'll see so you're gluing it right on top of the floor. And then you put a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place. After I put the tape on, I like to put a little weight on it just to press it down and make sure that it bonds properly and nice and tight to the floor. As you see, they're really easy to install. Actually, I think they're easier to install than a traditional molding. You can cut them on your chop saw or with an oscillating tool or even some tin snips. Just to go over everything one more time, they can be purchased at Home Depot, Lowe's, or any large hardware store on the hardware aisle with the nuts, bolts, and screws. They run anywhere from six to nine dollars. They're under ten dollars. Never seen them higher than that, and that's for an eight foot length. You see how nice they look when they're done? They look like a million bucks in this million dollar home, but they only cost a few. This has been another episode of Tim's Tips, brought to you by Jones Nose. If you enjoyed the content and you'd like to see our other episodes, please check out our channel. These short video series are geared towards your up-and-coming flooring professionals and your DIYers. At Jones Knows, we are currently trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and when we get there, we're going to have a giveaway for a couple of our lucky fans. Please take out your favorite flooring mallet and smash that subscribe button. Thank you, and have a great day. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.